Hey, LTL. Yeah. So for the next episode of Fast Forward, we're doing kind of an award show called The Fasties, and we think it'd be really great if you could come and show your support. Okay. So I guess this is Marissa's idea, uh, some way to boost morale. Um, I, I guess that's okay. It's the last episode. What now? Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, Santiago didn't show mm -hmm. up, so... Shocking. Can you please just host with Chris? I just, I... Are you I'm kidding me? I'm sorry. I just, I don't know what else to do. I mean, I basically carry the show anyway, so whatever, fine, yeah. So... When I ordered the trophies, I kind of thought they were going to be a little bit bigger, but it's fine. Everything is fine. everyone. Glad you could make it. Uh, welcome to the Fasty Awards, not to be confused with Quickie Awards. <laughs> um, we're so glad you could all be here and receive your award. So um, this episode's just been a show already, so let's just get started, shall we? Oh, this glorified meeting. So glad I dressed up for it. So, for the WTF award, like seriously, what the f um, the award winner is Devin! Devin! <laughs> keep doing all the good stuff you're doing. All the glitches, Here just keep go. them coming. Here you go. Congratulations. You. Like to, no, like we don't have time for acceptance Academy. speeches. Nope, we don't have time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Devin, thank you, thank you. Hey everybody. It's uh, Jim Blevins back here again. I'm just uh, beautiful spring weather we got out here. Uh, about uh, it's a nice warm uh, 72 degrees about I'd say. Yeah, look at that. We just got this nice uh, nice river behind us. I'm sure it's warm enough for you to just jump in, jump in. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a nice day out here. Uh, Looks like we got a little bit of precipitation, but that rain shouldn't be too bad. Uh, man, look at all these leaves on the trees. It's beautiful spring coming back, coming back to life. Everything's sort of coming. smells of spring and new life and all sorts of stuff. Oh man, I had to take my hat off, it's getting too hot. Uh, yeah, just enjoying, just sit back and enjoy this with me. Our next award goes to the best special effects. And the winner is Colin! Woo! Oh, jeez.
Man, those aliens look so real. They were out of this world. <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's fun. Woo! That award should have been mine. I mean, I, I didn't make them, but it still should have been mine. And the next award for best four plays goes to Tony, who isn't here. It's Tony's top four plays. Tony's top four plays. Four more plays. This is Tony's top four, four plays. He's not here, but I will be accepting it on his behind, I mean behalf. I mean, really, you just want to be known as the person with the best four plays. Our next award for most travel time goes to Nautica. Uh, I want to call you back. I think I just want an award. Surrounding in Omaha Metro. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of In the City. You go, girl. You put those miles on. Here you go. Thank you. Good job. A tiny trophy for that tiny travel time. All right. Our next award goes to most restricted arm movement when gesturing. David. Woo! Take two items, two items, mix them up, and see which one I like better. On this episode, the Xbox One X here on Head to Head. While that's cooking, thanks for watching. Great show, man. Great show. Great show. Love it. Great Big show. fan. Wait, Huge. before you go, though, I want to know, which trophy is better, this one or that one? Ooh. <sighs> that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you forgot the trophy. Uh -huh. And now for the award for most money spent on chicken, obviously goes to Brett. Like, do you really think you're gonna get reimbursed for that though? You know our budget's tight. Cock a doodle doo. Woo. Hi, I'm Brett Detmer, and I'm back for another episode of Winner Winner Chicken Dinner. On this episode, I'm going to do a taste test and give my ratings of chicken restaurants in Lincoln, Nebraska. Big Red Restaurant and Sports Bar is part of Big Red Kino that formed in 1993. There is now two in Lincoln. Have some, a little bit of spice, and then the barbecue hits you, and that's pretty good. It's nice and saucy. The spicy barbecue is not really, really spicy, but... Got great barbecue flavor. Ramos Pizza and Pub opened in 1983. The hot and spicy wing from Ramos Pizza. It tastes pretty dang good. Ooh, I may have to rethink myself here. This wing is starting to get a little warm. But if you don't like hot stuff, then you probably just stay away from these wings. Raisin Cane's was founded in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. They make their own sauce. You don't want to use ranch when you got this great sauce here. And ooh. It's the best smell ever. It's that sauce. I mean, it's just so good. Awesome sauce. Kind of like fried chicken a little bit. Got a good crispy outer coating. This meal is definitely giving chicken wings a run for their money for me. And now, the time. We've all been waiting for. It's my ratings. At number five, I have Ramos Pizza and Pub. At number four, I have Big Red Restaurant and Sports Bar. At number three, I have Raisin Canes. At number two, I have The Watering Hole, who has the best wings in Lincoln. And then at number one, I have. Lee's Chicken, the oldest operating restaurant in Lincoln. Kind of makes me feel like home. Well, now you know. The best places in Lincoln, Nebraska to get fried chicken and chicken wings. This has been Winner Winner Chicken Dinner with your host, Brett Detmer. <laughs> Way to go. Thanks for making me hungry every episode. Yeah! What the hell? Where's my money? Our next award is for the sneakiest way of forcing us to learn. 
We give you Evan! The Great Depression hits in 1929. Yersinia Pestis. The year of five emperors. Thank you so much for teaching me. I respectfully decline. This ceremony is bad and you should feel bad. May God have mercy on your soul. Wow! Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that. All right. All right then. Moving on. Someone's not getting their holiday bonus. <laughs> we don't get paid. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see did you see the look on their faces when I told them I didn't want their stupid one? <laughs> uh, this is the best Thursday ever. Since 1990, the Mary Ritma Ross Media Arts Center has served the University of Nebraska-Lincoln with independent film from across the country. With live theater broadcasts, Q&A sessions, and local film festivals, the Ross offers exclusive events year-round. So drop in, grab some popcorn, and watch some of the finest comedies, documentaries, or thrillers. For any movie genre you prefer, the Ross has got it covered. We have a new University Health Center, now including the UNMC College of Nursing, the new and improved University Health Center, offers everything in one place, including a full-service pharmacy and physical therapy. If you're feeling stressed, talk it out with counseling, or relax and unwind in the all-new Zen Room, now located at 550 North 19th Street. There's lots to see and do at the University of Nebraska State Museum. Be sure to visit our new temporary exhibit, The Museum Builders, which explores the history that led to the building of the University of Nebraska State Museum. Accompanying this is also an escape room, which features the history of fossil collecting in Nebraska. For more info, visit museum.unl.edu. Marissa's idea to boost morale is going to pretty quickly. But it's hilarious. <laughs> Our next award is for the least fitting background music, but he's also a dick to bringing attention to other people's addictions. We have Jordan! Woo! <laughs> So it's funny that you guys actually came and wanted to talk to me because I've seen your show on YouTube. I've watched it. I saw the uh, Fortnite dancing guy. That was really sad. Uh, then the dad joke guy. It was like a weird, sad, funny because I was laughing. I was also like, oh, I need to help this guy. So what, what if I do help these people? I can get my fix and I can help them with theirs. I'll, I'm going to go help people. Hi everyone, thanks for coming. Sorry I'm late, but I- Hi late, I'm dad. Sorry I'm late again, but again, I'm Maxwell Searberry. I'm here to help you guys. I was on that show Addiction Nightmare as well. I'm addicted to helping people. Okay. And I think with my addiction, I can help you both. I have no medical background training or psychiatric training, but I think I'm very qualified to do this. So. Let's start with Bill. Bill, why do you think yeah, you're this, addicted to- is this for the same show? Yes, it is. Oh, okay, it's... cool, because I got- I, I actually have some material this that they, they didn't talk about. This is not free publicity. Please stop. Well, you're you're but... a failed comedian. Well, I used to let's, hate let's, facial let's, hair. Here. Yes. Okay. Well, then it let's grew on me. I'm, uh, I'm Clint. You know, Hi, Clint. I'm addicted to Fortnite. You've yes, seen the but why do you think you're addicted to Fortnite? That's the um, thing. Like, I, it's a I watched a program a about I, beavers. I have a naturally competitive spirit. It was the best damn program I've ever seen. I, I had a roommate that introduced me to it, and he was, you know, my age. And I wouldn't well, buy anything it, with Velcro. It's just that competitiveness of it, and you can it's always get It's a total ripoff. Yes, but see, you're a man with a mustache, and I imagine little twelve-year-olds <laughs> playing this game, and it just, it just kind of off. Well, I don't. There's no, there's no voice chat for all the random. I mustache you a question, but I'm shaving it for later.
Bill, you gotta stop. You're not even a dad. I'm outie. Clint, what? No, Clint, come on. We can't. I can't handle this anymore. Clint! I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> Alright, Bill. Why can't you have a nose that's 12 feet long? Why, Bill? Sorry, I messed that one up. Why can't you have a nose that's 12 inches See, long? you're not even good at jam. You know what? Because then I, I it would be I a can't help you. I can't help you. I can't help you. I can't help you. I'm cured. I'm cured. I'm out of here. I'm cured. Yes! I can't believe it. I'm finally cured. <laughs> oh, man. It's been so long. I've helped so many people, but I am so excited. I'm never going to help another person again in my life. It, I, I hope you didn't need help tearing all this equipment down because I, I am out of here. Yes. Those addictions are nightmares. My goodness. I drink Congratulations. Them. Does, isn't everybody getting these? No. Their participation trophy no. culture is ruining America, guys. No. Okay, thank you. You know what? Fine. Okay. Take, take a seat then. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> and now the next award goes for the simplest production style, also known as the best use of an iPhone. Ladies and gentlemen, Robin. Thank you. Stop it. I'm coming to you live from my living room. I'm your host, Robin, live from my car. Uh, sorry, officer. Um, I'm just trying to graduate and I need to make a video. And the award for being in the most segments except for their own goes to Gabe. Gabe, good job, buddy. Good job. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Tricks of the Trade, and today we're gonna we're gonna step up our game here. I'm gonna teach you a trick that requires a bit of finesse. Uh, it's pickpocketing. It's pickpocketing. You, you know, you've seen it in the movies. You know, you just bump into someone and reach in their pocket like they can't feel it. Of course, they're gonna feel it. You using you can't use your your thumb with that. They're gonna feel that. That's a big chunky finger. You gotta use your pointer finger and your middle finger, kind of like um, kind of like a tweezers or a um, Hey, what's that, uh, what's that uh, thing the Chinese used to eat? Chopsticks. Oh, right, right, chopsticks. Uh, let me anyway. just stop you right there, but though, Mike. Yeah, what, what, what's going on? I, I, I don't think that we should cover pickpocketing. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, why is that? Well, because, well, after last time, we're starting to doubt your so-called talents. And we can't really risk you failing to pick some poor college kid's pockets. I mean, you'll get arrested and we really don't have the budget to bail you out. So you're saying I'm a bad con man? Honestly, I think you are legitimately the worst con man I have ever seen. All you do is just throw together some random buzzwords and you make it sound like a real criminal lesson, but in practice, you kind of suck. <laughs> is that the case? Huh? Well, I think it's time I show my hand. Second camera crew. Hey, get out here. What is this? Well, see here, kid. This is a uh, this is my TV show. Uh, it's called uh, Tricks of the Trade. Hey, thanks for the name, by the way. Now, you see, you think I'm a bad con man, but I just con you dummies into paying me to be on your stupid show. Now, in that case, I'll uh, take my last paycheck if you could. <laughs> yeah, right. You just admitted to playing us, mm -hmm. so. I'm gonna give you enough for bus fare, and that's it. Where's my mom? You see, college kids really are the perfect marks. Made this guy think he was top dog, big man on campus like he was in control. That confidence made him easy to manipulate. That's what the con and con man stands for. Confidence. Now, uh, you know, you can't out con a con man. That's one thing you always gotta learn. 
I'm uh, Jake Wilson, aka uh, Michael Michael Walcott, right? Yeah, that was that was my fake name. And this isn't even my real accent. This has been Tricks of the Trade. Let's go, fellas. Our next award <coughs> is most segments cut from the show at the last minute obviously goes to Chris. See that? See that? This is what a champion looks like. This is what a champion looks like. Not all of you, me. I'm what a champion looks like. I'm what a champion looks like. See? I have two trophies to prove it. Three, four, five. Woo! Santiago didn't show up. The boom mic kept dipping into the shot. Nobody wants to be here, and I don't understand how to please these people! Next we have, for best screen name and least aggressive gamer, goes to Wade! We live in a society. What's up guys, and welcome to PUI Playing Under the Influence. It's your boy, and today we'll be playing... nothing. They shut me down. I'm all, I'm all done here. Didn't get enough likes, so uh, can't even pay for electricity anymore. This whole thing was a lie from the start. I'm not really any of these people. I'm just Wade, a guy in his early 20s from small town Nebraska trying to make it big. I thought that maybe by occupying my time with something, I could distract myself from all the depression and anxiety and that by attracting an audience, I could get some of the positive attention I so desperately seek. But I realize now that life just doesn't work that way. That hard work and perseverance don't always pay off, and in fact, they rarely do. Success is a game of luck, and I've been playing it under the influence of my own illusions of grandeur. I was never meant for any of this, but if I'm not doing this, then what place is there for me in this world? Why are we here? Just to suffer? Are we really doomed to repeat the same thing day after day, praying that one day someone or something will come along and change it for us? We wake up, stare at the ceiling, and wonder how we let things become the way they are. How things could have been different had we just done something, anything differently. And even when we finally admit to ourselves that we have a problem, there's still that seed of doubt in thinking that I should get a therapist. Because therapists cost money. Prescription drugs cost money. It costs money we don't have in order to feel like not dying. How strange is that? That we have to go out of our way to make ourselves financially unstable just for the chance to not feel like jumping in front of a car. And what happens after we get better? If we even get better, we're even more broke than we were before, getting messages about late bills and left with the life we never cared to build for ourselves in the first place. One, two, five, ten years of wandering mindlessly from place to place with no goal in sight because we never plan on making it very far anyway. No matter how hard we scream in our minds, it never sounds any louder. Maybe none of this this matters anyway. How do we know that five minutes from now, a black hole will appear instantaneously and wipe any trace we ever exist from the universe before we could even realize anything happened? We could blink and be gone forever. Perhaps a higher power could destroy us all without so much as a second thought like swatting a fly. We're nothing, and no one will ever leave anything behind significant enough to impact anything beyond our small, unimportant planet. What's the point of this? Of this? Of any of this? Everyone's looking for the reason we're here, but no one's thought about the depressing reality that there is no reason. Our existence is utterly pointless, and nothing we do really matters. We'll all die meaningless deaths because any moment now, we could begin our slow, inevitable downfall spiraling toward our demise with nothing but a whisper on the air to remember us by. We are nothing. We'll become nothing, and this planet will move on without us like we never existed because we will have no bearing on this planet other than our complete and total self-destruction. But that realization is somewhat freeing. If nothing matters anyway, wouldn't that give us no reason not to treat each other with dignity and respect? There's no reason not to live life the way we want to, no reason not to pursue our dreams. If life is truly pointless, then who cares if someone says we can't- Oh yes, I'm the great pretender. Give the people what they want. Dab Fisher. Dab Fisher. Dab Fisher. Gamers rise up. Dab Fisher. <laughs> oh, and last but not least, we have the Never F Here Award goes to Santiago. <laughs> and he is not even here to accept it, so I'll be accepting Woo! it on his behalf. Yeah! <laughs> hey, we have a class. Get out. 
okay, um, that concludes this part. We're gonna have to pick it up and take it somewhere else. So let's go, everybody. Finally. As part of their Simple Living campaign, Sustain UNL wants to teach you to make your own compost for gardening. Making your own compost is as simple as throwing uneaten fruit, vegetables, bread, and eggshells in a pile and letting nature do the rest. Try turning your pile once a week to aerate it and add it to your garden before planting for the best effect. To learn more about Living Simply, visit Sustain UNL's Facebook page. Sustain UNL, creating a sustainable world through activism, education, and service engagement. If you're feeling hopeless, depressed, or suicidal, you're not alone. If you think that your life isn't worth living, then you need a second opinion. Local trained counselors right here in Lincoln are here for you. Call the Center Point Crisis Response at 402-475-6695 or call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at 1-800-273-8255. Suicide is a permanent solution for temporary feelings. There is help. There is hope. Make the call. The Capital Humane Society's Pylock Pet Adoption Center, where you can find your next baby girl, your next Aaron, or your next furry animal companion. Each adoption comes with spaying or neutering, microchip registration, and a health exam that is included in adoption fees. So stop by the Capital Humane Society's Pylock Pet Adoption Center, located at 70th and Highway 2, to find your next furry friend. People gave me their extra awards. I just love them so much. Yeah. Variety is the spice of life. I promise me pancakes. We're trapped in another and I still here. Pancakes are better. Sorry, some of us have to work for a living. I enjoy the chocolate chips, even if it is cold. Oh no! So Are you kidding me? You do, I don't care if you don't like waffles. I did this for you, for all of you. You know what? <clears throat> I didn't even want to eat these waffles with those people. They're the worst. So disrespectful. So ungrateful. Marissa, how long have you been here? This whole time. I followed you out of the room. Oh. Would you like some good news? Yeah. It doesn't matter because we graduate next week. So it's okay. We can f up as much as we want. When in doubt, pinky out. Thanks, Robin. That means a lot. Hey, guys. So. Hi. I'm really sorry for freaking out on everybody. I just, I really wanted this episode to be good. So. Yeah, um, it's not going to be, but it's okay. Yeah, it's Woo! it's fine, it's great. It's totally fine, so. Party at LDL's house! Yeah! Yeah! Let's go. No, no, no.